Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to make these cedar wood screens. So what we're building today is a privacy screen. And what I've got here is these 4x4 four four posts. That's spaced about 7 foot apart. Um, and we've got two lengths of uh, cedar wood battens which are going to go across here. Um, these are down here at the moment. <clears throat> the idea is to cut these to length and then we'll put half a centimetre spacing between each one building our way up to the top. To kick off, what I'm going to do is take off a centimetre off of the end of each uh, batten just because as you see here the end of each batten is a little bit frayed. Uh, so doing this will have a nice clean edge to start with. Okay, so we just finished chopping off about a centimetre off of each batten, so now we've got a nice clean edge to work with. Eh? Uh, so it's time to cut the first half of the fence to size. And what I've done here is set up a little stop block. So each batten will come up from here, rest against here, and I know this is the perfect distance between the blade and the end. So all of our battens are now cut to length. Uh, the next step is to pre-drill where we're going to stick our holes. <coughs> Now I've made this out of the offcut from these battens uh, and all it is is a surround around one part and I've put two holes in here exactly where I want my pre-drilled holes to go. So I can just slip this on uh, and buzz through either one of these holes depending on whether it's a, an outside piece or an inside piece and then I'll know my pre-sunk, my um, pre-drilled holes are in the exact right spot. So the next step is to oil all of these patterns, which we'll do front and back, uh, and we'll put two coats on that, and then we'll be ready to put them up. So we've made these little 5mm spacers, uh, and we're just putting these uh, in between each pattern uh, to maintain each space. We're running two patterns running perpendicular to these ones. Those are just to keep the spacing between these ones in case uh, any of these uh, battens want to warp or change over time. So on these two screens we're going to have two lights and the wires that are coming out the back I want to go into these channels. So these pieces of wood will sit on the other side of the screen. Uh, the wires will go through the screen, down this channel and then off into the plug. So I'm channeling these out by setting my uh, table saw uh, blade to the height of about 5mm. Uh, and then I'm just making four or five uh, repeated cuts. Uh, varying the distance away from the blade. Okay, so the channels are all made that are gonna attach to the back of these battens. I've also routed out two um, gaps here for the wires to go through. Um, these channels will sit over the top like this and allow the, uh, the wire to run through them. I've um, put little holes in the bottom all along just so that when water gets in here, it will be able to get back out again. Next we're going to wire up this light and attach these channels to the back. So what we've done is put this uh, screen in place without screwing it in 
and that's so that I can make sure the distance from here to the end of this poster lines up with this edge. Um, being because this post won't be perfectly plumb. Um, so we'll, um, we'll wiggle this back and forth and then we'll, uh, we'll screw another batten across the top when they're both plumb uh, and then measure that gap again and then that's, that's the gap, the, uh, the length that we'll uh, cut the next battens off. And then we just have to repeat the same process as we've done here for this one. So lastly, all we've done is just screw these in with the solid brass screws through the pre-drilled holes. And the job is done.